All right, if you are looking to get a Tesla, if you're looking to buy a Tesla, this may be your best opportunity yet. Let's jump into it from, from the uh, Einsteins at CBS News. Uh, that's supposed to be Hertz. So Elizabeth Napoliatano, you really should run spell checker or have someone proofread the crap you're putting out. Anyway, Hertz is selling Teslas for as little as $21,000. As it offloads the price of EVs from its rental fleet. Yeah, so there is a site I'm going to jump over to in a minute. There is a Hertz car sales, and you can go over there and go through the Teslas. So they are basically, here's the article, here's the main paragraph. Hertz plans to sell 20,000, oh dear Lord, 20,000 electric vehicles as it winds down its push to convert a sizable portion of its rental fleet to EVs, they're just cutting back on the EVs. The company Thursday said in a regulatory filing, citing the high repair costs required to maintain the vehicles. Then also the guys that work at Hertz that maintain the internal combustion engines, they have to be retrained to work on the Teslas and most cannot work on Teslas because Tesla has propriety stuff and it's very dangerous with that battery pack. You don't wanna be messing around with that pack and cause damage. And or, or fry yourself. Also, with cars breaking down on the road, there's special ways to go haul them because of the, the battery pack. You just can't pick them up and tow them. You got to put them on a flatbed, a Jordan, I guess one of those. If a car gets in a fender better, fender better, then you got to wonder has it damaged the battery pack? Because then you're uh, you got to worry about if any of the um, many lithium ion cells in that battery pack are damaged. You could potentially have a lith uh, lithium, a thermal battery runaway. Uh, where it just keeps like a freaking fusion reactor just keeps feeding upon itself and uh, takes 10 times as much water to put out and then they tow these things away. Uh, what what uh, tow operators do now is they put the cars, EVs, at least 50 feet apart from anything else because what has been happening is any EV, not just Tesla, if it's damaged, catching on fire, they put it out, they tow it, they'll find the car will reignite. It's It's crazy, man. Anyway, so how do we do this, right? Uh, I want to put out one more thing. So Hertz is selling it. Customers who buy a used EV are eligible for a $4,000 tax credit. Uh, that means you're not getting 4,000 bucks. It means if you can itemize, you can put down, hey, I got a tax credit. I get to deduct this from my taxes. That's what that means. Look it up. Used EV sales are expected to increase 40% in 2024 from the year prior according to recurrent auto i don't know why and why do i say that i was an early adopter an og of the tesla model s uh number 5400 off the fremont assembly line took delivery out of gaithersburg maryland uh, car was amazing car was shiny it was very uh sterile inside like star trek very sterile not much character the performance was good it was a heavy car from the battery pack and it was a big car. The luxury inside was there. Eh, it was like a rice cake. So that was a deterrent. Having come from an Audi, uh, I like the comfort of the Audi and stuff. And I like the sound of an internal combustion engine. I ended up selling the Tesla. Uh, I did have solar on the house. That cost a pretty penny at the time. And I had it feeding in through uh, uh, the car. I had a dedicated 50 amp circuit in the garage to power the Tesla. Uh, no issues. The service was good. Uh, the uh, some issues went. The heating. It was all module like a jet plane. You just had a. They, they would. They could jump into your computer on their car, diagnose it remotely, and say, "Oh yeah, this unit is failing. Bring it in, and we'll replace it in kind." And a lot of that was covered. I never really had to pay anything out of pocket. I didn't think I get. I got to the point where I put new tires on. But yeah, even with bra brake pads. You use regen regenerative braking, and that cuts down on the wear and tear on your brake pads as well. Anyway, so there's your chance to jump into the uh, Tesla market if you want. How do you do this, Crypto Jim? Key West Jim, what do we do? Well, just look up Kurtz Car Sales. Easy button, right? Google is your friend, and uh, just go over to Hertz Car Sales. I typed in Tesla. Boom. Let's go through and see what came up. You get a 2021. These are not really that old. Sure, they have high miles on it, but again, it's a Tesla, it's a battery pack, and you're gonna get the $4,000 tax credit if you can use it. So we got a 2021 
Model 3, standard range. That's all you need. You don't need the super heavy power pack. You don't need the ludicrous mode because, come on, guys. We're all sitting in traffic anywhere. We're, anyway, why, where and when will you use ludicrous mode? In your neighborhood and, you know, kind of run over a dog? No. Let's see. 2021, they're all Model 3, Model 3. Standard range, standard range. 20, this is not bad. I mean, it's funny how they have the same mileage. <clears throat> so what do we got? 20, oh, look at this. We got a 2022 Model 3, long range, uh, not bad, 32K, lower mileage. Here's a great price. Uh, 50,000 miles, 27. 2022 long range, 32. And then uh, Model S, we got a 42,000, about 40, 40 to 50. Not bad. I mean, really, come on, guys. For what these damn things cost, new, you could probably go out there. Look at this one 95,000, clear water, 29,000. Now, in Florida, you got to check. You got to check. You got to check the car reports. Uh, you got to check the history of the car, especially in Florida on the West Coast. Like Clearwater, we had the hurricane go through. Were any of these cars flooded? And that is, that's a red flag, man. Any car, even a control combustion engine car, hasn't been flooded, especially an EV car, hasn't been flooded, was it submerged with a storm surge or whatever due to any of these recent storms going up the West Coast? You got to check that. Uh, there you go. Go check it out. You got 40,000, 60,000, about under 30K. If you want a Tesla, I don't know. Like I said, having owned one, I don't think I'd ever own one again. I was on, on the uh, Tesla Cybertruck waiting list, and I decided, nah, I don't need this thing. It'd be fun to drive it for a day, and that's about the thrill I'd get out of it. And then I would just say, eh, all right, going back to my little Toyota Tacoma, which is uh, under power on the low range, but uh, it gets me around and haul stuff, and I barely drive it anyway, so why do I want a Tesla? Yeah, I don't know. So I got grew it. I tried it. I'm an early adopter. And I just said, nah, I like an engine. And I want a truck. <laughs> so there you go. Check it out. Let me know if you're going to buy a Tesla. If anybody has any money these days with inflation out of control, things acting up, election year, nobody knows what's going to happen in the economy, people losing their jobs. Uh, oh, the other good thing is Tesla is actually giving non-union employees huge raises. And I think that's awesome. That's good news. It affected the stock price. The stock price went down. Let's go back real quick. Since this is all about Tesla today, I wish it would go up. I'm probably down about 22% right now on Tesla stock. And uh, the secret of this crap, it doesn't pay dividends. It's just buy it if you want to buy it and just forget about it. And maybe one day it'll go back, back up. On, the side, on a similar note, I did have NVIDIA drop 20%. It did go back up. I made a couple bucks. Then it shot to the moon after I sold it. Boom. You just don't know. You just don't know. You know, it's uh, it could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways or it could do. It could do what? Nothing at all. That's uh, I think that's Bitcoin. Ben's team used to say that. Yeah. So what else is going on today? Bitcoin is down after the spot ETF. Bitcoin ETFs have been approved. I should have known that. Uh, this is a Fidelity Wise Origin, Origin Bitcoin ETF. Uh, they went active yesterday. I did buy in at 41. So again, I'm doing really shitty lately on stock. So yeah, don't listen to me. But if you want to go buy a Tesla, you can buy a hers. You can buy a her. Is that a pronoun? Maybe that's what they're joking about here. Hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Maybe that's the joke here. Is this, uh, maybe she's woke being at CVS, and she goes, hers, hers is selling Teslas. Are, are they identifying their pronouns as their brand name now? I don't know. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, funny joke. All right. Anyway, go check it out. Let me know if you're going to buy a Tesla. What do you think? I still like, man, I think the best buy, if you really want one of these, go get the new Toyota Prius. Check it out as a hybrid. It doesn't even look like the old Prius. The new Prius looks a whole new redesign, and they have proven record of, uh, success 56 miles to the gallon i think uh toyota's they found a win and they're sticking with it all right that's all i got check it out hers car sales <laughs>